And on the eighth day, God looked down on his planned paradise and said, I need a caretaker. So God made a realtor. God said, I need somebody that will get up before dawn with the dedication of the sun, risk time, energy, and investment for no salary or guarantee, work long hours on the street, prepare and deliver presentations, serve and attend to others' emergencies, then stay out past midnight at a meeting of the school board. So God made a realtor. God needed somebody mentally tough that could wake up unemployed every day, yet gentle enough to have compassion for others, someone that can build a bridge between people and technology, someone to arrive home nightly in the dark to accommodate others' time, tell them, thank you for the opportunity, and mean it. So God made a realtor. God said, I need somebody that can sell like Carnegie, make contacts and write contracts, handle objections and deal with rejections, and who can finish her 40-hour week by Wednesday noon, then weary from contingencies and people's eccentricities and volatilities, put in another 40 hours and sacrifice a weekend, too. So God made a realtor. God needed somebody that does not measure their work in hours, but by the satisfaction of their clients, someone to handle emotions unemotionally, to meet with triumph and disaster and treat those two impostors just the same. God said, I need somebody strong enough to knock doors and be ignored, direct mail and email, run ads, deliver notepads, yelp and blog and work like a dog, make calls and get up from falls, and who will stop her efforts when called upon to mend the broken spirit of a colleague or client. So God made a realtor. It had to be somebody who'd honor ethics and integrity and not cut corners, to keep their head when all about them are losing theirs, and trust themselves where others doubt, someone that can hold on when there is nothing left inside except the will which says, hold on, who'd laugh and then sigh and then respond with smiling eyes when her son says he wants to spend his life doing what mom does. So God made a realtor.